In Canada, jaywalking is a harmless activity. After all, who has yet to do it at least once? However, the law could be more forgiving. While jaywalking is technically legal in Canada, certain conditions must be met to ensure it stays that way. So, let's look at the rules and regulations around jaywalking, because knowledge is power. The basics of jaywalking laws in Canada. To understand the laws around jaywalking in Canada, it's essential to understand what jaywalking is. Jaywalking refers to crossing the street outside designated pedestrian areas, such as crosswalks or intersections with traffic signals. It also includes crossing against red lights or, don't walk, signs. In general, terms, jaywalking is legal in Canada as long as you do not interfere with traffic. If a vehicle has already started moving and you begin to cross the street outside a crosswalk or intersection with a traffic signal, you must yield to the motorist on the road. This also applies if you are crossing against a red light or, don't walk, sign. You must still yield to any vehicles on the road before continuing to cross. However, some provinces have specific laws regarding pedestrians crossing outside designated areas. For example, Ontario has an unsafe crossing law, which states that pedestrians can only cross roads within 30 meters of an intersection with a marked crosswalk or traffic lights. Otherwise, they can be charged with careless walking and fined up to $500 for endangering themselves and others on the road. What is jaywalking? Jaywalking. The fun and dangerous pastime we all love to hate. But just what is jaywalking, and why should you avoid it? To put it in simple terms, jaywalking is any activity that involves a person crossing a roadway or street outside of marked crosswalks. While this may sound like harmless fun on your way home from work or school, you must know that jaywalking can be pretty dangerous. Pedestrians must obey the laws and regulations governing traffic rules, such as adequately crossing when a crosswalk is available. The next time you are out for a stroll, keep your safety first by steering clear of any situation that could lead to jaywalking, it might save you from more than just a ticket. How to jaywalk safely? Jaywalking has long been seen as a crime, but it can be an admirable skill worth learning. First and foremost, you should always survey the area around you to be aware of any potential hazards, such as busy roads or law enforcement. It is also essential to use caution when deciding where to cross. You'll want to ensure plenty of room for passing cars to maneuver around you without slamming on the brakes. Lastly, when you decide to take those steps into traffic, make sure your steps are bold yet gentle, solid enough for drivers to see your commitment, though nimble sufficient for them to understand that their safety is your number one concern. There's no better feeling than mastering the art of safe jaywalking. The risks of jaywalking. Jaywalking often appears to be a harmless act, but it's no joke. The risks associated with it are significantly higher than most people think and include far more than getting a stern look from a police officer. Not only is jaywalking illegal in many regions, but it can also lead to severe injury or death. As if that weren't enough incentive, jaywalking also generally means an unpleasant run-in with authorities, not a situation you want to find yourself in. The bottom line? Just don't do it. You may save yourself the headache and stay on the right side of the law simultaneously. Why people jaywalk? People jaywalking is an exciting phenomenon. Rather than walking hundreds of feet to the nearest crosswalk, some folks would rather risk life and limb to arrive at their destination sooner. Is it because they need the extra two minutes or because they like living on the edge? Whatever the reason, there's no denying that jaywalking can be hazardous, even though you might survive your jaunt unscathed. So, before taking a walk on the wild side, of the street, make sure that you check both ways and don't worry too much about fashion, leave your show-stopping outfit for another day. Alternatives to jaywalking. When walking, we all want to get where we're going as quickly and efficiently as possible. However, traditional jaywalking can result in unnecessary, potentially dangerous, encounters with oncoming traffic. While there is no natural way around following standard street crossing practices, plenty of creative alternatives exist. You could try cross lawning or road skipping to get wherever you need to go faster just be sure to avoid the patches of grass with heavy sprinkler systems. Alternatively, pool your resources with other pedestrians and arrange a time street crossing, a great choice if you happen to be traveling with like-minded individuals. Conclusion In conclusion, while it is technically legal to cross outside designated pedestrian areas, i.e., jaywalks, in Canada as long as you do not interfere with traffic, each province has laws regarding this activity, which could result in hefty fines if broken. Therefore, knowing your local laws before attempting any jaywalking activities is essential. 
As always, safety comes first.